So I'm going to use this video to really just go through the rubric. Um, First though, make sure to check out the very excellent robot examples. There, there are many ways to go about this project. Um, your robot can look like super robotic-like, um, or it could look really cute and friendly. Um, many ways to approach this project. So as you're working on it, I'll, I'll go through the first section of the rubric first. Um, your robot needs to be a robot or some sort of made-up creature. It, it should not be an object. Um, so no phone cases, skateboards, etc. The robot is from your imagination. Um, you invented it. So I should not see exact replicas of Wally. Um, I should not see something that looks really similar to a cartoon character, for example. In your work plane, there should only be one robot. There should not be any background, random floating shapes, or a title. And most important, the robot was creatively created to solve a real life problem. So. When I, when I grade your, your final robot, I'm gonna look back at your robot plan answers um, and sort of like grade them together, thinking about how the design of your robot makes it really useful and solve that problem. Your robot should be really detailed with at least 50 shapes. Um, and that doesn't just mean like copy pasting bikes on it 50 times, for example, it should be like a variety of different shapes. Um, you should have special colors that look really nice with the design and advanced skills from the lessons are used. It doesn't need to be everything, but think about grouping shapes together and making holes, using the hole tool to cut things out of shapes, etc. I'm really looking forward to seeing your final robots. So for, for this final project, just go into Tinkercad and you are going to be creating your, your robot from scratch. Um, I hope it goes well. Good luck.